Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders. I'm with JC Levin, and we're at Mescal Movie Set today. We're filming a little movie, and uh, we're gonna do an episode on Mescal Movie Set and the history of it. What do you think? Sounds good. Good. Action. Mescal began his career as a filming location in the 1950s. However, the town was really built up for the filming of Monty Walsh starring Lee Marvin and Jack Palance in 1968. Shortly after that, it was purchased by Old Tucson Studios and has had a busy life since. A majority of the movie Tombstone was filmed at Mescal, as well as about 50 other Western movies, television series, and commercials. One of the TV shows that rings true to me is The Young Writers, and the producers dumped about $200,000 into refitting Mescal for that series. In the movie Outlaw Josie Wales, Josie, played by Clint Eastwood, walks out of this general store and gets into a gunfight. You'll notice that over the years in different films, they covered over the window and changed the facade a bit. As I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, that was also used as a hotel in the movie Dirty Dingus McGee. In between takes, I was even able to film at the building where Josie defends himself against the soldiers. Well, you gotta hold those pistols or whistle Dixie. Right behind that building is the jailhouse Steve McQueen was locked in for the movie Tom Horn. Ladies and gentlemen, Cliff Owens, you remember him from the Stuntman of Tombstone video we did. Yep, there's all seven feet, seven, eight, eight feet? They like to say nine feet. Nine feet, yeah, there's all nine feet of them. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in this here movie there? Well, what? I'm playing a hired gun, a lawman. Oh. I'm getting shot and falling downstairs. You gotta oh, love okay. it. Oh, awesome. Well, I'll die with you. All right, look forward to it. Day. This is the storefront Jack Palance's character worked at in Monty Walsh. Right across from it is the OK Corral. Hey, Eddie. Hey, how hey. you doing? So, they filmed the OK Corral sequence from the movie Tombstone right there, and you were right here. I was right here, experienced magic, watching the wonders. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what, uh, what were you doing? Were you in a tent or in a building? Or oh, what? they had like a mining camp here, and I got dressed as a miner. That's cool. And how many days did they shoot that over? Do you remember? Uh, we had, They were supposed to do it in a week, but it took us almost two weeks because shooting in summertime, we were using the candy glass and the explosions on the glass. For the windows? Yeah. And if you look close on the videos of Val Kilmer when he's shooting the guns, running by, you'll notice then there's glass and then broken glass in front of it. Because anytime they would set off one, one explosion for the candy glass, the other ones would do a chain reaction. Oh jeez. And this went over and over. What I was told is we went through, I think it was almost $100,000 in candy glass. I didn't even know it cost, wow, that's a lot. The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean's Jersey Lily Saloon is here. It has gone through some alterations over the years as well. Back on set, the cameras are getting placed. Stunts are discussed and set up in kind of a choreographed dance while actors go over their lines. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Jerry. Yes, good sir. Morning. Good you? morning. You had a little target on your chest. Yeah, I know. Awesome. It's, it's, it's the price I pay. Yeah. <laughs> Costumes are given that final touch with Fuller's Earth. Horses are saddled and blanks are distributed. Set pieces are dressed by Dirty Dan and his prop company. Of course, making a movie is all serious business. Okay, let's get back to Mescal's magic. This saloon was used in The Quick and the Dead and many other films. Incidentally, when they blew up the majority of the town in one scene, the filmmakers built extensions onto some of the buildings that they detonated. Others were completely blown up. Hey, Matthew and I get shot to death together in this movie. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> hey, you know where we are right now? We're at the top of the hotel? Did you know that? I did not. Well, yeah, because you, you walked up the stairs. <laughs> well, fair enough, but okay. I didn't know it was a hotel. Yeah, well, it's a hotel now, and actually in the movie Tombstone, when they go on the Vendetta ride, and they burst in the door where the prostitute's sleeping with one of the red sash gang, yeah. and they shoot him to death, Yeah. I think it was here in this room. Was it? If it's not in this room, it's in one of the other rooms, but pretty cool, huh? Huh, that's really neat. Yeah. The movie Buffalo Soldiers and the final scene in Tombstone is that building right there. Now, as you've seen, Mescal is not doing well and is in need of more than just a fresh coat of paint. The buildings were made as set pieces as quickly and functionally as possible and not to withstand the test of time. Yet, movies and other film projects are still filmed there and it's open to the public for tours through old Tucson Studios. 
I can't tell you what an honor it is to be cast in a Western movie where so many classic motion pictures have been made. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Just one day. One day is all I ask. You can do it one day, just not this day. I needed more beauty sleep. You got me out here early. I don't, I don't think there's enough sleep to help you.